How's it going guys? Mask here and today's Knights Chronicle video, I want to take a closer look at PAL points. Now, I've been sort of on the edge about how I actually want to spend these. A couple different options you have, of course there's the chance roulette, where you get to spin the wheel for a thousand, po a thousand uh, PAL points, uh, up to four times a day. Twice every, you spin it twice, it takes 12 hours to reset and you can spin it another two times. Now. The chance roulette, it does feel pretty good. I've gotten some pretty, I've landed on 300k before. Sometimes I get a five or six star hero. I, I, I feel pretty good about the chance roulette, but you can only use 400 pal points maximum in the chance roulette daily. And I find myself able to get a, a significantly more than that. Uh, if your friend list is full, you get five pal points times, uh, times the 50 people in your friends list. That's an easy 250. If they all return the favor, you should be able to get 500 just like that, plus use plus the bonus you get for using 10 helpers a day. Regardless, what I'm really comparing today is the Pal Lotto versus summoning with Pal Points. So if you go to your summons, you can click Pal Points right here, and you have the option to for you can summon 10 XP Mon and Gold Mon for 200 Pal Points or 10 essences, so either rainbow or any of the colored essences for 200 pal points. Now, I can't, you, I, I mean, I've been summoning with pal points up to this point. I haven't really, that's mostly what I've used them on. It's the pal lotto that I'm most interested in really seeing what I can actually get from it. You look at all the prizes, some of these ones are decent. You got a six star Marvelous Evolve Mon, a 6 star ruin ticket, 300k gold, 10 crystals, 300 enhanced stones, those all sound pretty good. So what I've done is I've saved up a thousand pal points and I have yet to collect any of today's. These are a thousand from yesterday. So we should have close to 14, 1500 pal points available. So I figure we could clear this entire board, pal lotto board, and really get an idea of what awards we're, what, what rewards we're going to get for doing it. This is, uh, there's six tickets in a row, five rows, so we're looking at 50, at 50 points a ticket. My math is, uh, it's 1,500 PAL points to clear the whole board. It caught up with me. I was like, I know I know this. But before we do that, let's roll this free summon. I've saved my free summon of the day, too. I love sneaking this into a video. Then if something, and then if we actually get something good, it's recorded. We can have some fun with it. We got rare. Come on, show me just rare. All right, fine. At least it's a five-star rare. That's actually some pretty, some pretty nice fodder to have. Get right in there. I'm sure I'll uh, ha get get rid of you very quickly, but I'll be happy in doing so. So let's jump right into it. We have the Pal Lotto. Ooh, there was one last thing I'm gonna do really quick. Tickets. Six-star hero ticket. Now I think it's the super rare ticket if I'm right. Kamiya. Ah, uh, I was. Low key hoping for Esmeralda, like the only thing I was really thinking about. So let's jump into the Pal Lotto. Spin with Pal points. We're gonna spend all thousand of these. Can we just spend them all at once? Well, that's not exciting. Okay, we're, we're I, I, uh, three at a time, maybe. You know what? Let's let's spin three at a time. I could spin. I could literally just spin twenty, twenty for a thousand. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll see how many. We'll do five to start. Five. Three star ruin ticket, two dark essence. We got 17.5k gold, 10k gold, and two fire essence. All right, we can keep going. It doesn't, the board doesn't reset. Spin for another five. Three star ruin ticket, one rainbow essence, 10k gold, two fire essence, and a five star ruin ticket. This tier one, there's there's 300,000 gold here, supposedly. Silver Mon ticket, er, 20k gold, 20k gold. Man, that's, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. That's 650 pal points down the drain. I could have done 10, 20, 30 XP Mon, Silver Mon, or Gold Mon summons with this many pal points already. Okay, let's do another three here. Two Rainbow Essence, 
10k gold, and a three-star ruin ticket. Ah, uh, dude, come on. Okay, well, half of my remaining power points. Fire Essence, 17.5k gold. 50. A gold monster ticket times one. Gold monster ticket? I, I guess that's a gold mon, that makes sense. And the last 50, come on, show me! Only 10k. So, is this gonna reset? I, I hope it doesn't reset when I leave, because the whole point of this was actually to be able to full cleared if that if that was necessary. So I should be able to jump into social here. There should be a ton waiting for me on send receive. There's 485. How could I make how could I extend that by just a little more? If I prune the friends list by three people? Two days. Sorry bro. One day. 23 hours. Oof. Only five. We're ten short. Maybe we won't need it. Maybe the rewards will be very okay, so here we go. We we can we can we can spin more. We got a hundred power points coming in for another two. There's the three hundred thousand gold and two wind essences. So we got the tier one reward. That means there's we, we actually got the tier one reward, the tier two reward. Three out of four of the tier three rewards. Two out of six of the tier four. So we can hope for some of this stuff. I think at this point, we we just, it cost us uh, 490, so 100, 1100 pal points. We got the 300,000. We got, um, what do we get out of this? I'm not sure. I, think, I feel like it was a ruined ticket, which is really lackluster. Uh, I will have to take a look at the beginning of this video to find out exactly how much gold we started with. Actually, I'll use a little bit of uh, video editing magic and figure it out right now. Be right back. All right, so we started with 3.8 million. We, we've made about 400k from this lotto. And uh, I don't, it's definitely not, it's not worth me, I could definitely not worth me spending more. We got the tier one reward. I really think that's the only reason you're diving in here. Uh, and I would, I would be surprised if uh, it, you could get, you got that tier one reward with much less than 1100 power points spent. So the real question now is, uh, 1100 power points, can that get you more than 400k on the other, or just by pulling gold mon and XP mon under the summon, under the power point summon here, gold mon and XP mon, uh, we, because I mean, as far as other stuff, we got wind essence. We got 400k gold, some un, like so many few essences that it really didn't feel like it was worth it. And uh, I, I, think this, I think it's really just a gold comparison. How much gold would you get? I remember doing 600 pal points worth of summoning, I believe. And I got about 200k gold from the gold mon throughout here. Mind you, we did get a gold mon ticket, if I remember correctly. So tickets, we got a gold monster, Three star ruin, silver mon ticket, three star ruin, five star ruin, and a three star ruin. So, for the like, reality is everything in that whole list is completely useless except for the couple gold mon we could sell. But this is definitely not a accurate representation. Those are from way earlier. I think I, I'm pretty sure I I. I'm never gonna. I'm not gonna touch the Palotto again unless it's actually a quest telling me to do so. This really just did not feel worth it. One, two, maybe, th maybe three Rainbow Essence. We got a, a four or a five star ruin. I, I'll just instantly salvage that. 300k gold and uh, a bunch of trash. I mean, three star, two star. This two Wind Essences. This is like that's not even a drop. Giving us two at once. And then we got, uh, I, I mean, 10, 12, 15. This is just gold amounts. I think the 10, especially for people who could use a little bit of XP, and uh, it's, I, I don't even run the XP dungeons anymore because it's actually just so, it, you, the, the XP mons, half the time I'm selling them, I have so many. I, XP mons drop from farming advent dungeons, which is one of the best ways to be spending your spare stamina. So it really just comes down to the gold. What are we getting more gold from? Are we getting more gold from the Palotto? Are we getting more gold from spinning for the, the um, 
XP slash gold mons. I mean, if they move this to the six star ruin ticket, even 10 crystals, 10 crystals would be nice. 300 enhanced stones would feel like I'm getting totally ripped off. This would be, if we didn't get that 300k prize, this was completely useless. Even one six star ruin ticket. That's like maybe two runs in a ruin dungeon. You're going to get a six star ruin. The six star marvelous evolve mon. That's, that is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. That's probably the best prize you could pull out of this. Uh, I guess if the six star marvelous evolve mon were to appear here, I assume this is them announcing what the tier one reward is for the Pow Lotto of that day. If it was here, I'd feel enticed to chase after that six star evolve mon because there's a lot of gold and fodder and effort that goes into producing a six star monster to, to, to limit break with. I think if that's there, it's worth it 100%. 10 crystals? I mean, I suppose if I had to trade a thousand power points for 10 crystals, that's like an extra 10 crystals every two days. I would probably go for that. So if there's, if the crystals are up, I think, I think it's totally worth blowing all your power points on the power lotto. If the Marvelous Evolve Mon is up, I think it's worth it as well. Sick, if six star ruin ticket is the advertised tier one reward, no go. I mean, I say the gold, it's a, it's a no-go. If it's an, if it's the enhanced stone here, also a no-go. Like, I just, those are just not worth it. We can get more gold than that by using the pal points, by summoning Goldmon. The Evolve Stones, I mean, that's 300 enhanced stones, guys. That's like three runs in the Ruin Dungeon. One full stamina refill of, of your day. Ten crystals, I mean, crystals are invaluable. They're going to be one of the, the hardest resources to continually replenish over time. So they're 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 pretty mo pretty much worth no matter what. Six star ruin ticket, get out of here. So I think crystal. I'll keep my eyes open to see if the crystals appear or the six star marvelous evolve mon appear over here. Other otherwise, I'm probably not going to touch the pal lotto again. Uh, luckily, we still have enough points to come over and say hi to the chance roulette. Now don't let me down. Show me something good. Six, boom! You have, I've actually hit this six star hero ticket so many times. And that, and it, that's probably the third or fourth one I've pulled off out of this roulette. And it is so good. Honestly, it's the, and that is wicked too. I'll take five rainbow essence. That's actually worth like significant amount of money and, and, and uh, frustrating time trying to actually farm it. Six, these six star, oh, that's, that's an instant six star fodder. That's uh, two six-star fodder heroes I've basically pulled. Valder, actually, I, I won't fodder the super rare. I just don't. I gotta, I gotta collect all the super rares. But uh, we did manage to scoop up an extra six-star fodder rare there. So we did. We got three rainbow, three rainbow essences from the lotto in total. And like, what? Three? Oh, this shows us two dark essence, six fire, eight rainbow, and two wind essence. Come on, three of that was from the Lotto, and the five was obviously from the Chance Roulette that we just pulled. I mean, at, at the end of it, I would say, spend your power points on the Chance Roulette. I, I totally stand by it. I think it's a fantastic way to use them. And the Pal Lotto, look at the advertised Tier 1 reward. If it's the Crystals and you feel like you need those Crystals, consider going for it. If it's the 6-star Evolve Mon, I would, I would definitely go for it. I mean... I'm always, we constantly will be struggling to level, evolve people up, get them to six stars, and be able to limit break our heroes. I mean, limit breaking right now, boom. I, I, I'll, I'll be able to limit break with this just because we, we pulled it. I mean, that was from the chance lotto. But if it was an evolve mon, just as easy. And uh, yeah, aside from that, go over, to the, go over to summon. Whip out your pal points. And it's not any deal to buy 10 at, compared to... There's no bonus deal to buying 10 as opposed to 1. It's just 200 for 10, 20 for 1, and summoning these XP Mon and Gold Mon, I think, is probably your best way to spend your overflow of PAL points if there's nothing good available at the chan at the, the uh, PAL Lotto. I would, I would keep an eye on it, though. I'm probably going to only spend my PAL points if it's about to overflow and continuously save up and just have it available to dive headfirst into this Pal Lotto if I need it. But uh, yeah, that's uh, my research and now stance on Pal Points, guys. I hope you uh, learned something today or have a little bit of an insight on 
on uh, how you want to spend yours. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with any, anything I'm saying. I love having a conversation down there. I always do my best to respond. And uh, any conversation's a healthy one in my mind. I'm, I'm always open to any kind of feedback you guys have, whether it be about the topic I'm talking about this video or just about me or my videos in general. The best way to grow as a content creator is to be wide open to any kind of criticism. I love it. Let me have it. But uh, I'll catch up with you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'm working on a, I'm not sure if this video will come out after or before my summoning video. I'm analyzing the new banners. We have the cane banner and the fire banner. I'm just doing a ton of pulls on them and uh, trying to just kind of get a feel for what real drops, what, what the real drop rates of all the heroes are, or just what seems to be lucky right now. I don't know. I'm trying to convince myself to pull off the fire banner because I really want to rue, but I just can't bring myself to spend any of my crystals. I just know they're such a hard resource to get, and I have almost completely tapped out my free crystal generation possibilities. I've leveled up every single rare and super rare hero I've ever gotten my hands on. But I'm going to stop blabbing on now. I could honestly talk probably for an hour straight about this game. But I'll stop myself so I can break it up and have a conversation with you guys every day. But thanks for checking this out. I hope you're enjoying Knights Chronicles as much as I am. And these Knights Chronicle videos, I've had a lot of fun making them. And I really haven't just naturally enjoyed playing a game this much in quite a long time. I, I haven't been able to put it down. I've, uh, I'm advancing quite quick. I'm coming, I don't think I've even been playing for a week now. And I'm already rank 145. But uh, there I go again. On a tangent. Blah, 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 blah. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. Check me out live at twitch.tv slash mascarin. You can find the link in the description down below. You got my Facebook, my Twitter down there. Check those out. That's how you're going to know when I'm going live, when new content's coming out. And of course, stay classy. If you haven't already, download and play Knights Chronicles on Bluestacks, guys. Save your cell phone batteries. It plays fantastically on the computer. Use the Bluestacks link in the description down below. It'll install and prompt you immediately to, to it'll download and prompt you immediately to install Knights Chronicles, saving you some time and some steps. And for everyone who downloads it, I, I <clears throat> And if you haven't already, guys, you should really download Bluestacks and play Knights Chronicles on your computer. I've left a link in the description down below. It'll download Bluestacks directly and instantly prompt you to install Knights Chronicle. And it I, I does help me out for everyone who uses that link to install Bluestacks. I'd really appreciate it. But honestly, play Knights Chronicle on your computer. It's so much smoother. I enjoyed the graphics better on a big screen. And it saves your cell phone battery. Please do. The worst thing is after you play these games, especially ones where you're tempted to AFK overnight sometimes, farming like advent dungeons, your cell phone battery gets fried. Anyhow, guys, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Probably already said that, but most of all, stay classy.